Right now, the far port of entry is closed to passenger vehicles. Commercial traffic is still allowed to travel southbound. Channel 5 Cecilia Gutierrez is live and far with the details. The city of Far put up barricades around an hour ago. Now they're turning away passenger vehicles because of protesters on the Mexican side of the bridge. Now before this, though, unusually long wait times in ports of entries throughout the valley. Viewers were actually calling Channel 5 News this morning to report wait times of up to 12 hours. We spoke to one woman who says it took her six times as long as it normally would to get into the United States. Leslie Gonzalez crosses through the far port of entry often. It's usually a quick 15 minute drive for Gonzalez, but today that wasn't the case. We looked up those wait times. The Ansel Lewis Bridge is showing a 115 minute wait time with only one lane open. Over in Cameron County, the Brownsville Gateway Bridge has a maximum of five lanes for passengers. Only one of those lanes is open right now, causing a 150 minute delay. And the Donna International Bridge is also showing a 140 minute wait time. Now back here in FAR, the wait time is showing zero. Again, that's because passenger vehicles are being turned away right now because of protesters on the Mexican side of the bridge. We don't know much about the protesters right now. We just know that they're agricultural workers protesting the Mexican government. No word yet on when passenger vehicles will be allowed to go through again. You can count on Channel 5 News to keep you updated on the very latest. In FAR, Cecilia Gutierrez, Channel 5 News at 6.